first day of the Radio Times, I think. Which means officially Christmas has started. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Bert. Hi, Shani. Um, look what I got in the post today. I got these two Anita Bruckners, um, really kindly sent to me from Shonad. Is it Shonad? Would you say? I don't know. Shonad? I don't know. Um, I was thinking it might be similar to Shonad, but I don't Shonad. actually know. Oh, can you let us know? Um, <laughs> So I can thank you properly. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for sending these. Now, she um, accidentally bought these uh, without realising she had them already. So um, she sent me her spare copies. They're super nice. With some lovely um, postcards, those two up there. Thank you. Because that's so cute. Okay, folks. Um, Sean's not feeling her best. And it's cold. So we're going to make a delicious, healthy vegetable brodo, broth. It's really simple, but yeah, we've got some bullion stock somewhere, haven't we, Shani? Yeah. Um, I'm going to start chopping, as the uh, Dinosaur Genius song says. <laughs> There's the bullion. Yeah. Red onion is supposed to be better for you than white onion. Is that right, Shani? Well, the... That book, How Not to Die, yeah. he was pretty much saying that you should always eat the vegetable, it's more colourful. Right, okay. So if you're eating an onion, it's, there's more health benefits to having a red onion than a white onion. Oh, yeah. Or like a sweet potato than a white potato. Interesting. Yeah. Just adding some thyme at the moment because I find thyme a bit of a faff to get all the leaves off. 
just using a a branch to tie it to tie some together like that. So I can just dip the whole like thing. Like a bouquet garni. Which I couldn't then remove after I like a bouquet garni. Is that what it's called, darling? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Chop up some basil. Here's the Brodo fans. Um, it's so good. It's really kind of hot and warming and tastes like it's curing you from anything you may have. And But it's done a really nice job and put a bit of paprika on the top. Um, yeah, you can see a whole chilli there. Anyway, it's yummy. Thank you so much, Bertie. yoga classes to teach before um, Christmas and tomorrow there's one which is just my usual class and then there's one that's a workshop which is like a restorative class just before Christmas so hopefully it's super relaxing so I'm trying to plan it all and I've got some books out to help me and I thought I'd show you the books that I'm using so one of the main ones is restorative yoga and this one is by Gail Borstein Grossman and it's a relaxing way to de-stress, re-energize and find balance and it's one that has lots of kind of pictures of the poses. I've also got Yoga for Emotional Balance by Bo Forbes and I've got, I'm <laughs> just throwing them, Yoga Nidra for Complete Relaxation and Stress Relief by Julie Lusk and Yoga Nidra is yoga sleep so you just kind of lie there and someone talks to you. Um, I have got my old kind of staple michael stone and this is his most recent one the world comes to you notes on practice love and social action i've got living beautifully with uncertainty and change by pema, Sh pema chodron who i love and then i've got a couple which i'm not sure if they're going to fit in but they're here just in case which is no time like the present by jack cornfield and light is the new Bat black by rebecca campbell um and then my kind of plan for the class is that we're doing like heart openers um, so it's like connection and connecting to the heart and then release which would be kind of I guess letting stuff go but also lots of hip openers where you keep lots of you might keep a lot of emotion in your hips as well and then um, my themes are also ahimsa which means non-harming and satya which means living with our truth and that's kind of the ideas behind the class and we're going to start just lying down and I'm going to do a rotation of consciousness so they'll just follow different parts of the body and they're going to imagine um, they've got like a little spark of light on different parts of the body so it'll start like at their feet so imagine you've got a spark of light on your toes then all the way up to your head um, and then you're kind of covered in light so that's that sounds the lovely plan. sweetheart oh thank you so mm. much and then I just roasted some nuts so they can have like little treats afterwards for some nuts and um, chocolate as well. Can we see your class plan or oh, some well, of it, what it looks like? I don't really have much. This is all I've got so far, so there's not much on there. And then mixing it with sort of a bit of that as well. Cool. I love your class plan. Well, I mean, that's an old class plan on the back, so that's kind of what they would look mm -hmm. like usually. But this one's just a bit more detailed, so... Um, yeah, there's a quote here from Thich Nhat Hanh. Through suffering, we learn compassion and understanding. But I've decided not to share that tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't know if we needed to think of suffering. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs>